Hello, welcome to Friendship Moments. Tonight's my devotional is going to be just a little bit different than it usually is. I'm going to talk about something that happened to me this Saturday when I was in Publix. I went in to get a few groceries and a few things, and I was walking down a cookie aisle, and I didn't feel right. I had this weird feeling come over me, and I went to get away, and when I did, that was the last thing I remember. Seems as though I had a grand, what they call a grand mal seizure right there in the middle of the Publix Meat Department. And I spent some time in the hospital. I spent a couple of days in there, and they were running tests and making sure that everything was okay and that I was, I was not going to have any other problems or other issues. But the thing that stood out the most to me this whole time is that the people that came to my to help me when that happened. There was a guy, in a, and he had on an Alabama shirt, and I think his name was Bo Ballantyne. He was a, I think he is a, uh, well, I don't know exactly what he does. He, he And then, then, then there was another lady that came in there, and I'm, really, I'm not really sure, and she was a nurse instructor and then there was the, there was the potato chip guy he got there too and I, and as i watched the video of this whole thing happening the potato chip guy he he must have been a, a first responder sometime in his life because he knew exactly what he needed to do to help me and those people helped me until the ambulance got there and got me off into the hospital one of the things I liked to, that stood out to me the most is how much God was looking after me that day because my head could have hit the meat counter and it, it would have knocked me senseless. Right now I've got a black eye and I've got a bump on my head and I'm sore all over and things of that sort. But that's, that's, that's minor things that, that I just want to say thank you, God, for looking after me because I know that I, I make some terrible mistakes in my life and it hadn't been for God looking after me things would have really turned out much worse than they have. Right now, I'd like to read a scripture from Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through 34. It says, Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about what your, your body or what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by, add, by worrying add one single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or gain, and they do not labor or spend. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. That is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and gone tomorrow, thrown into the fire. Will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble for its own. I thank you for listening to me today, and I thank God for He's looking after me, and you know He's looking after you too. And if your life is not where you think it needs to be, now's a good time to get on your knees and ask God to come into your heart and change your life. I thank you so much. Have a good day.